Hi everyone, Sharon here with Creating with Sharon, and today is Tuesday, so that means Facebook Live, yay! I'm just going to just see if I can share this. Ooh, this is a Facebook Live, oh. yay! Silly me. Just going to just share this with, uh... oh, I guess I can't. Anyhow, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so let's get going. Um... I'm going to show you how I made this cute little card, and then I'll tell you um, about the surprises, some prizes that are happening that's later on, I'm oh, sorry, later on this month. Okay, so let's just flip this around. Yeah, some exciting news to share with you all. So, but first of all, let's get started and make this cute card. Simple, perfect for the beginner, um, will help you practice your... Um, coloring all that sort of stuff and we'll go from there so first of all what you need let's start with the supplies all the supplies are listed in the description um and you can hop over to my store and if you use this hostess code i will send you an invite to my card club which is the in this month and um, a package of cards to go with it so you can play with us. Okay, so we're going to be using the World of Cheer stamp set. And I'm going to just basically be using this stamp right here. Really cute. Um, of course, we need my, our Memento ink. We're going to need the double oval punch. Um, wonderful gems. Some ribbon. And this is the real red ribbon, and it's the double stitched satin ribbon. So that means it's stitched on both sides. I'm gonna need some blends. I'm only gonna use two colors of blends, and that's going to be my real red and my old olive. I have my card base, which is crumb cake, five and a half by eight and a half, folded over and scored and burnished at four and a quarter. A piece of real red uh, cardstock, which is four by five and a quarter, and that's going to sit on top of it like this. This one's three and a quarter by five, and this is what we're going to stamp our image on. We have a scrap piece of crumb cake, and that's what we're going to put our sentiment on and punch it out. And then we also have some gold um, specialty paper from the the annual catalog. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to bring this piece in first, and I'm just going to move all this stuff out of the way for now, and bring in my stamp and my, my, into my Memento ink. And your Memento ink is a water-based ink, and it works best with your blends. That way, the, your image will not run or smudge when you do that, when the two of them are combined together. Okay, so this... I'm going to just bring in my piercing mat because I am using photopolymer and it's a good idea to use photopolymer with um, uh, a, a mat with your photopolymer because it has no oh, has no um, no give photopolymer. Okay, so I'm just going to just stamp this up near the top of my piece of paper. Now this is one. Oh, and I forgot something else. Don't forget your Winka Stella. <laughs> yeah, can't forget that, eh? Christmas cards and no bling. So there we have it. So I'm going to just basically use two colors in coloring this. And I'm going to start off with my darker of the the two. So this is my real my real um, red. Thanks, Mandy. Just got it done today. And just, this is brand new and it has so much juice in it. It's unbelievable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just highlighting around the flowers. So when I go to color it, it gives it some depth. And in there. And this, um, I just love using my blends on my crumb cake. I don't know, just gives it a different effect. I don't know what it is, an old fashioned look or what's that called? I can't remember what that style is called, but I just, I just love it. And you can do almost any color and it will pick up on your cardstock and make it look beautiful. So there's my, 
my flowers. I'm not going to put that away yet. And now I'm going to bring in my light. And I'm going to just basically blend it in. So go over the ones I just colored and then bring it up. Do the same on this one. All the way around. And then, of course, we're going to do the centers. So as, I, as you notice, I don't talk much when I'm coloring because I'm too busy to focus on my coloring. And it really relaxes me. I don't know about you guys, but I just love to color. And stay in the lines, of course. Got to stay in the lines. Or try to do your best. If um, you do go outside the lines with your blends, we do have a lifter that works really well. And what it basically does is pushes the color back Oh back in the direction that you take it. So just coloring just like that. And I'm going to do it on all three of the flowers and then I'm going to go in and just lightly color the berries too. But those berries are too small to do any depth with them, so I'll just color them in. And when you're using your blends, if you sort of zigzag between the old, the darker and the lighter will help it blend a little bit better. And almost done this one, and then we'll just color the berries. No, oh, almost, and I can do this one too. So, how many of you all got your Christmas shopping started? Uh, I think I don't think I have anything purchased yet. Because um, I am having a Christmas class coming up, and it's the first time I'm going to try this. It's called um, a Stampin' Party. And we're doing that at the 1st of December. And basically, as a party, we all get together. We're going to, um, everything's done by Zoom. I'm not doing um, any in-house classes at the moment. Um, basically, everybody gets the stamp set, the kits to do the cards. Um, you'll get a, like a little, I guess, ticket. And then we'll draw prizes. And everybody that's in attendance at the class will receive a prize on top of your stamp and your card kits for the class and I'll give me uh, when I'm done this I'll show you the cards that we're going to actually going to do um, it, the cards are from the um, angel of peace stamp set this is a really cute stamp set and I'll send you all the products to make your card you do, do need to supply your own supplies um, there's a blends and ink and of course your scissors will be required also so it looks like we've got all the berries so now we're going to go in and we're going to color the leaves and we're going to do them in old olive yeah I hear that um, if you want something special for Christmas that you're to buy it right away because things are going to be going fast off the shelves like wow it's hard to believe it's november the first already like oh my lord and next weekend yay we're going it's just the next weekend yeah next weekend is um stepping up on stage yay so excited about that Get to see some new techniques, see some new products coming out in the new mini catalog. Um, I am doing, getting my um, ma mailing list done. So if you're 
not too sure if you're on my mailing list, just pop me an email. Not, or a message saying that you're not on my email and you'd like to get a new catalog. Oh, thanks, Gaetan. Yeah, that was that was a shocker, let me tell you. Uh, but I guess the COVID has been really good to me this year. One thing that's good for anyway, being able to move everything online, which is was a tough one for me to do because I like to meet with everybody. And then we'll just got one more leaf to do, and then we'll just bring in the, there we go. Now we'll bring in our Winkastella. And what we'll do with this is we'll just color in the flowers. And I'm thinking the, I'm going to, these are poncettas. They're, I don't know. We'll pretend they are and just color them in. The red sure picks up on with the Wink of Stella. Just love it. Let's quickly color these guys in. Almost done there, and then we'll, we'll add some rhinestones, and then we'll just put the card together. Real simple card. This is card will be perfect, like I said at the beginning, for beginners that are just learning. Um, just buy a couple blends, a stamp set that gives you the ability to color, and uh, go from there. And then when they've done this, I'll show you um, the cards that we'll be doing at the. Um, my stamping party. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the same sentiments um, from the stamp set. Oops. And it's called um, Sending You Christmas Cheer. I'll just ink this up. I'm just going to just do it on the end like this. I'll put this away because I have a tendency to get black everywhere. And then we'll just bring in my punch. It's called the double oval punch because it has two ovals in there. And I'm going to just punch out my sentiment. And then we need a little bling around the sentiment. So I'm going to cut out a scalloped oval using the gold specialty paper metallic specialty paper so now this see if I go like this you sort of miss you don't see the gold paper in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it and might take my scissors and I basically all I'm going to do is just cut down the center of it so now I have two pieces so now what we're going to do is we're just going to get a wee bit of our liquid glue Now I like to use liquid glue on something like this because it will give me a few seconds to adhere it. And if it's not the where I want it, it'll give me those couple of seconds to move it around. So there's one side. And then we'll do this one on this side. Just like that. Now you really don't notice that it doesn't connect, do you? Gives you that illusion that it's, oops, see what I mean? Gives you that illusion that it's all one piece. Look at that, ta-da! Okay, so we'll just put this to the side to let it dry because it is drying on a specialty paper. You wanna make sure that I'm just gonna just play around with this just a bit more. Gives it time to dry because it's not as porous as our cardstock. So now I'm going to take my card base, which is um, crumb cake, and then I have my real red cardstock, and I'm gonna just add some liquid glue onto the back of that. And then I'm going to adhere that right on to my card base just like that.
And then we'll let that dry for a second. While that's drying, we will bring in this piece right here. Now on, on the, the original card, what I did is I used the, um, the gold rose, the cherry cobbler, what's it called? Cherry cobbler metallic ribbon. But I only have one row, one um, roll left, and I want to keep that because um, I'm going to use it for something else down the road. And they are running low on the. It was on back order. And it's not on back order right now, so I just so I'm just going to just put that right there. And so how I'm going to adhere this is I'm going to take some of my running tape and. It's my uh, Stampin' Seal Plus. I want the plus because I want it to give it extra strength because it's going to hold my ribbon in place. And I'll just take my ribbon, put it into it just like that, push it down, and then bring it around and then do the same on this side. Some people use masking tape or tape. I like to use my seal. And now I'm going to bring in my sentiment. And I'm going to, of course, add dimensions because we need dimensions on something. I got my sparkle. Uh, now I just need my dimensions. And just put some of those on the back side. And you want to make sure that it's on either side. Oh, oh see, that fell down a bit. You can still move that. So you want to just put it on either side because this is going to sit right over top of the um, the ribbon, and you just want to just give it so it has just a little bit of give there, and we will okay, and then we'll just put this puppy right about there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. So now I'm going to bring in my bigger dimensionals. So the larger ones. I just use the mini. And I'm going to make sure I have a dimension on the ribbon so it doesn't move or if, it, if the tape gives away, which I don't think it will because it's super sticky. And we'll just... And the reason why I do dimensions on the back side is not my because of the ribbon that's there it won't lie flat and have like a little bump in it and it won't look i don't think it'll look that great so plus you need dimensions right so I'll just put this one right there just like that we're not quite finished yet i'm not going to bring in my picatool and on the shard, the sharp end there, we're going to bring in a couple of the rhinestones. Use the smaller ones for the smaller one, the smaller flowers. And we'll bring in a big one for the center one. So how quick was that, eh? Just quick and easy. I think we did a whole 20 minutes and we made a card and coloring and all. So there's the two cards. I really like that ribbon. I think that's so pretty. And all I did was just color them with my blends and a wee bit of Wink Estelle and away we go. So, do you want to see the cards that we're making at my um, Stampin' Party? So the Stampin' Party is on um, December the 1st. That's a Wednesday at 6.30. Class starts at 6.30. We're making four cards um, and then we'll everybody will have their own sort of ticket entrance ticket to, to come and you will have a chance to win a prize. Everybody will leave with a prize. So you'll get your stamp set, which is, oh, where did I put it? Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, let's place it somewhere. So you'll get a stamp set. And you'll need to supply your own ink, um, your own ink, your own um, 
but basic basic kit so ink scissors um dimensionals so there's one card that we'll be doing you will need um a petal pink um a blend and a saffron blend also and also a thing of um a tube of wink Stella too so there's the one card there's the second card there's the third card and the fourth one so i'll have everything all cut out for you all i basically you're going to do is just stamp and cut in must be still upstairs because i was working on them i don't know where the stamps that went so those those are the cards that you'll be making it's fifty dollars <coughs> excuse me so you receive the stamp set plus you will receive a, um some a prize throughout the the evening okay so if you're interested, let me know. Um, seats are filling up fast. I can't believe it. I just advertised and I have over half my seats filled up already. So if you're interested, please let me know and we'll get you all set up. Okay, well, I want to thank you so much for joining me tonight. Greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, everyone.